Hey, what's going on, everyone? I watched this movie called Another Round. It's a Danish film directed by Thomas Vinterberg and starring Mads Mikkelsen. The film is about these four friends who are all in the middle stages of their lives. They're all teachers at the same school, and they all suffer from a lack of excitement and spontaneity in their lives. Over a birthday dinner, one of the friends suggests that they all begin to regularly drink alcohol to improve their social and their work performance. The idea being that the alcohol will give them some of the charisma they need to improve relationships within their family and with their students, neither of which seem to have much respect for him. The alcohol does help them, but it leads to a slippery slope. They start to think, if I drink more alcohol, then it'll be a better relationship with my students, better relationship with my kids, my wife. Eventually we see the negative impacts of the alcohol and they inevitably all become alcoholics. This was a really amazing movie because it was so original and the acting was amazing. It was beautifully shot and it felt very real as to like what could actually happen in people's lives when they abuse alcohol. The film is originally titled Druk, which is a Danish word, supposedly meaning drunk, which kind of makes sense because they're drinking the entire film. And yeah, I just, I really loved the film. Uh, Thomas Vinterberg is currently up for a, no, he's a nominee for Best Director. And Mads Mikkelsen, unfortunately, he's not nominated to be the Best Actor. I think he should be. He'll definitely at least be a nominee within the next few years. He's a really remarkable actor. And I wasn't too familiar with his work. I remember him in Casino Royale, and my brother recommended me this movie called Arctic, which he was amazing in. This movie in particular, though, his his acting is just, it's, it's very different. He doesn't need to say a lot of words in order to express what he's thinking there's one scene in particular when they're all at the birthday dinner at a restaurant and all the friends are drinking except for uh, martin who mads mickelson plays and martin is supposed to be the responsible one in the film but it's more so that he is kind of numb to his life and he has a lack of enjoyment in a lot of things that people should well people may enjoy in this scene he's not drinking and they order a special vodka for him and the camera pans on his face for like 30 seconds and he takes a sip of vodka and you just you see his these little micro expressions in his face and you just you can tell that he's just thinking about all the regret he's had in his life and how many years of his life he's wasted. And he doesn't say a word for like 30 seconds. And it's just, it's some of the most amazing acting I've seen in a while. I'm going to rate this movie a 9.2 out of 10. And I recommend it to pretty much anybody except for people who only like lighthearted films. This film definitely had darker themes to it, but... You know, just watch it. The film is spoken in Danish. And you can add subtitles to it, um, which I did. So I wouldn't let that stop you from watching the movie. Adding the subtitles didn't affect the movie in any way. It didn't make it worse at all. I, I didn't even notice it, to be honest. You'll definitely like this movie if you like Parasite. Um, this film came out in late 2020, and it's only starting to get attention now. I think because the Oscars are coming around and your start and because Thomas Vinterberg was nominated for best director. But um, if this movie had come out in 2019, it would be very, very popular, probably as popular as Parasite. But because it came out in 2020 and the pandemic is currently going on, it didn't it wasn't released in the movie theaters. So, um, yeah, it just didn't get the attention it deserved, but it's starting to get there, and I think it'll be like a cult classic pretty soon. So, yeah, um, if you watch it or 
if you've already watched it let me know what you think if you have any analysis on certain scenes i'd love to hear it uh if you have any recommendations for other movies that you'd um you've seen and you'd like me to review please let me know the uh, next movie i'm going to watch is called uh, minati so thanks for watching let me know if i how i can improve this uh, review this is my first one so i'm sure there's a lot of room for growth um, thank you very much i'm going to improve this setting too so <laughs> i'm not sure about the camera and audio quality this is all new to me so thanks for watching